Hello, my name is Andy Sinipoli, Assistant Chief of Training for the City of Durham Fire Department. First, I'd like to thank you for your interest in our department. But before you apply, please know this is not a normal application and interview process. So I'd like you to take the next few minutes to watch the remainder of this video so that you can prepare properly for the process. First things first, if you've applied, keep an eye on your email. This is where you'll be notified of every step of our hiring process with detailed instructions on how to proceed. Be sure to check your regular inbox as well as your junk folders. The first steps after you apply will be to take both the written and physical agility tests. You will receive an email asking you to choose a date and time to complete these tests that take place at our training facility. You'll do both tests on the same day. We encourage you to sign up as quickly as possible when the testing window opens, as these slots are first come, first serve. Don't wait until the last minute. On the test day, be sure to dress for physical training. You should not dress formally for this step. Bring something to hydrate with, a copy of your driver's license, and your release form. And most importantly, be on time. We have a saying here, early is on time, on time is late, and late is unacceptable. Firefighting is a job where every second can make the difference between life and death, so we take punctuality very seriously. Our written test will be a general aptitude test. You will not be allowed to use cell phones, smartwatches, or tablets. You will have two and a half hours to finish. But do not rush and double check your work where you can. We encourage you to watch our video on written test taking tips before you come. You must score a 70 or higher to pass. The physical ability test is completed on our training grounds using our training tower. You will complete a series of tasks such as pulling hose, running up the stairs with oxygen bottles, and carrying a ladder. You must finish in under 9 minutes and 45 seconds to pass, but it is advantageous to aim for the fastest time possible as it could be a determining factor. We also encourage you to watch our physical ability test video before participating. It contains all the tasks you will perform. You will be also tested for claustrophobia immediately after this test. If you advance after the written and physical tests, you will move on to the interview stage. Much like before, you will receive an email directing you to sign up for a particular time slot. Once again, we recommend doing this as quickly as possible. You will need to bring copies of five items, six if you're former military. These are your driver's license, birth certificate, proof of highest level of completed education, social security card, and all shot records. If you're former military, you will also need to bring a copy of your military discharge. These need to be copies as they will not be returned to you. Not bringing these items and not being prepared lets us know you are not ready to be a firefighter. We recommend watching our video on interview tips beforehand. If you're being considered for hire, you will have to pass reference checks, backgrounds checks, and drug testing. Testing positive for certain drugs without a valid prescription will be grounds for termination throughout your entire career. Our EMS requirements mandate that our employees receive specific vaccines. See the full outline at durhamfd.org. On that note, all of our sworn employees aren't just firefighters. They're also trained EMTs. In fact, a majority of our calls are EMT related and a large chunk of our academy training will be towards getting your basic EMT certification. Your training academy will last eight months. We'll begin early every day with physical training. It's a difficult but rewarding process that will fully prepare you with the skills and mindset necessary to become one of the Bull City's bravest. In addition, you will be paid full time during your academy training. Again, we realize this is not a normal application and interview process. So if you do have any questions, please email them to dfdrecruiting at durhamnc.gov. The earlier, the better. With that said, we look forward to meeting you Good luck and we'll see you on testing day.